Imagine spending a dollar on marketing and making $72 in return every single time. That's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do in this video with email and SMS marketing. I'll show you how to integrate directly with Shopify or whichever platform you use, create abandoned cart flows to recover any lost sales, setting up a welcome series to welcome new subscribers to your brand and drive even more sales, creating signup forms to capture emails from your customers, creating email and SMS campaigns, and so much more. When you're ready, let's get right into it. The app we'll be using in this video is Omnisend. Omnisend is the top email and SMS marketing app for Shopify. They allow you to grow your audience, sell your products, and scale your brand. Omnisend has the cheapest pricing for email and SMS apps and the most features by far. You can use Omnisend to create newsletters for your brand, automated email flows, pop-ups and landing pages to capture emails from your customers, SMS campaigns, segmentation to target different segments of your audience, as well as advanced reports to see how your emails are performing and make any needed changes. Omnisend offers a one-click integration with Shopify that we'll go over in just a second, but first let's talk about pricing. You guys can select how many contacts you have right here, but Omnisend actually offers a free plan to help you get started and grow your business. You can use the free plan to grow your email list and start generating sales through email and SMS marketing. And as you gain more subscribers and generate more sales, you can upgrade at any time or stay in the free plan forever. Now let's talk about setting everything up. Omnisend makes it very easy to get started. Click the link I have for you down below. It'll take you to Omnisend's website and then move over to connect your store right here with their one-click integration. You guys can integrate directly with Shopify. That will take you over here to the Shopify app store. Just select install and it will install this app directly on your store. So right away, Omnisend allows you to customize the branding for your store. It links up directly with Shopify, but you can make any needed changes down here. So you can adjust your logo, the colors for your brand, any fonts, and you guys can actually add all of your social media links down here. So for example, if you wanted to add your TikTok account, you could paste the link directly right here and it'll display at the bottom of all your emails. When you guys are ready to move on, select save brand assets and let's move on. Let's start by creating an abandoned cart flow. This allows you to recover any lost sales from when customers go on your website, but don't complete their purchase. This automation reminds your customers to go back to your website and complete their purchase, often with some sort of an incentive like 10% off. When you guys are ready to create your abandoned cart and checkout emails, just select launch workflows right here. It'll take you to this page over here. First, select the discount that you wanna give your customers on the third email in this sequence. You can choose 5% off, 10% or even 15% off. This is all up to you based on your profit margins and how comfortable you are giving out discounts on your products. Typically, I recommend going with 10% off, so we'll select that right here and we'll continue setup. You can select if you want to include SMS channels in your abandoned cart sequence, so select one of these two options right here and we'll start workflows. Your abandoned cart and checkout workflows are now active. You guys can view your workflows and edit them by clicking this button right here. Select any flow that you would like to work on. We'll select abandoned checkout right here. You guys can go through all of your different emails and customize anything that you want to right here. You guys can see right here that an hour after the checkout wasn't completed, your first email will be sent out. 11 hours later, your second email gets sent out right here. And 12 hours later, they send a text message to your customer as well as your third email in discount incentive. Make any changes that you want to and select update right here to save your changes. So the best way to capture new customer emails on your store is to create a sign up form that displays on your website. When you guys want to go do that, just select create form right here and we'll get started. You guys can customize this form entirely with any options that you want to. You can add incentives like 10% off your first order like we have right here. You can create a second step on this form to collect phone numbers from your customers for SMS marketing as well. And you guys can customize the success message once a customer completes this form, then they'll receive their discount incentive. When you guys are done creating that, just select enable right here and it'll start displaying on your website. Once you guys have your signup form created and published on your website, Let's create an automated welcome email to warm up new customers to your brand and drive even more sales. When you guys are ready, select set up welcome workflow right here and let's get started. Select the type of discount you want to include in your welcome email. Once again, I recommend going with the 10% discount right here. 
Select whichever one you want and let's continue with the setup. You guys have the option to include the SMS channel on your workflow or you can only go with emails. We'll select the SMS channel and we'll start our workflow. Everything is already set up and enabled for you. You guys can select show my workflows right here to make any changes that you would like to. You guys can see your first email gets sent out as soon as they sign up for your form and a day later they receive a text message from your brand. You guys can select this first email right here. You can customize the subject line, the pre-header text, the sender name, and edit the entire content of your email. Once you guys made any changes that you would like to, just select update right here, and it'll update all of your workflows. Once you guys have all of your workflows set up to recover any lost sales and welcome and warm up new customers to your brand with some sort of a discount or other incentive, let's talk about creating email and SMS campaigns. Just select campaigns right up here at the top, and we're going to start by creating our first email campaign right here. Start by filling out all of your email information right here. First, you have your subject line. This is the subject line that displays in your customer's inbox. You guys can send out emails for certain holidays, certain sales, or just middle of the week promotions. It doesn't matter. Next up, you have your sender's name right here. This can be the name of your brand, or you can make it more personalized by saying something like sender's name is Alex from Trendspire. Then select the email address that you would like to send from your brand, as well as your pre-header text that is displayed right after your subject line. This just gives a sneak peek of what your email is about. Then you have your campaign name right here. This just helps you keep track of everything. This is for internal use only. So name this accordingly so that you can go back and look at the reports later on. Once you guys have all of that filled out, Let's choose our email template by clicking this button right here. You guys can see there are so many different options down here for templates. You guys can choose the theme or the goal. You guys can offer a discount. You can announce a sale for your brand or anything in between. Since I was using a spring sale for the example in this video, we'll just select this Easter template right here and go with that. You guys can customize this template entirely depending on what you need. They have a ton of options over here on the left hand side as well as a drag and drop editor. Add any products you want to, any discounts, or any other incentives to get your customers to go and complete their purchase. You guys can add images, you can add your products, you can include text, headings, and so much more. Once you have your template created and ready to send out, you can send a test email to yourself to make sure everything looks good. Just select the email address you would like to send the test email to, select send, and make sure everything's good and ready to go. Once you guys verify that, select save and choose your recipients right here. You guys can send this email to all of your subscribers or select any customer segments that you would like to. Once you have that selected, let's review our campaign down here. You can edit your settings right here. You can edit who your email is being sent to right here. You can actually schedule your email to be sent out at a later date. Once you have all of that done, select send now and your emails will be sent out. Now let's talk about sending out SMS campaigns or text messages to your customers to drive even more sales. Just select create campaign right up here at the top. We're gonna go over to SMS and create SMS by clicking this button right here. Once again, come up with a campaign name right here, your sender name right here, and the actual content of your message in this message text box right here. So for example, we'll name the campaign spring sale number one. The sender's name will be Transpire, the name of our brand. And for the text, I said, happy spring. We're welcoming the start of a new season with 15% off all orders today. Just use code SPRING15 at checkout. You guys can include an image or a GIF in your text message by selecting file right here. Once you guys have all of that set up, just select next step right here. You can choose if you wanna send your text to all subscribers or choose any customer segments that you would like to. Now, because I'm using a test account right here for this video, I don't have any imported customers, but it does cost a little bit to send out SMS campaigns to your customers based on their countries. You guys can review the cost of your campaign right here and then review your actual campaign and send it out to your customers. You guys can select reports right up here at the top to see how your emails are actually performing. So for example, we have our spring sale email number one right here. We'll select view report and you can look at all the different metrics of your email. The email sent out, your open rate, your click rate, as well as the revenue generated, your unsubscriber rate and your spam rate. Typically, overall, you wanna keep your unsubscriber and your spam rate down while increasing your revenue, click rate, and open rate. You guys can actually do email A-B testing right here to test different variations of your email or your subject lines to see what performs better to help you make better decisions down the line. Overall, you wanna track all of the reports on your emails to see the performance and what improvements you can make. So going back to your dashboard, you can track how your email and SMS marketing is performing overall. Just select overview right here 
And you guys can track everything from your sales performance, the revenue generated, the orders generated, from which campaigns and workflows, your audience growth with email and SMS subscribers right here. You can look at the last seven days, last 24 hours, yesterday, or any other time frame that you would like to. If you're not getting the audience growth that you would like to, you guys can manage your forums right here and make any improvements that you need to. But overall, Omnisend gives you everything you need to start growing your brand through email and SMS marketing. That's everything you need to know if you wanna drive more sales with email and SMS marketing. Click the link I have for you down below to sign up and get started with Omnisend. And if you found any value in this video, consider leaving a like, sharing with others, and subscribing for more. I also have a free course to help you get started and make your first few sales linked down below. That's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.